Good morning. It is April 20th, 2020. Happy 420, people. Boop, boop. For those of you who do enjoy the casual smoke or well, smoking every day, who knows? Uh, it is currently 8.20 a.m. and I am on my way to work. Um, currently, I'm still working with Butte County Resource Conservation District. I have about two and a half more months left on a um, on a grant that I've been working on and I don't know if I'm gonna stay in town or if I'm gonna go find another job um, I'm kind of leaving it up to the universe to give me uh, signs and directions and it'll point me in the right direction or give me the opportunity to tell myself forward in a lot of ways uh, things. I know I posted, I checked in on Friday and I hadn't checked in in a while. I had noticed that um, when I first came to Butte County, I was trying to do them pretty regularly and none of them uploaded to my, to my YouTube page. Um, and then when my phone died, a lot of those got deleted. So we're hoping, well, I'm hoping that it goes through this time. It, Fridays went through fine. So hoping that this one gets updated just right. Um, it's been interesting. I've really, this weekend, I really struggled with Esmeralda being in the house. I got really excited Friday to go spend time with her. And then it was, she just wasn't really in a good mood. But it's kind of been like, it's kind of hard because I want to be like more playful and more loving and lovey-dovey. And it kind of gets shut down pretty easily. Um, but last night we had a really good communication on that and kind of talked through it, which was really, really needed for me because I was starting to feel like I wasn't doing enough or I was trying too hard. Um, we accidentally had date night last night. We haven't really been on a date since she's been here. Um, and she's been here for about five, six weeks. Um, and we actually got out of the house last night and I cannot tell you how important scheduling a date night is uh, just based off of those little things like I felt so much better last night all we did was because we're still in still in pretty much shutdown where only essential businesses is open somehow fast food made the cut all we did was we went and got McDonald's and sat in the um, hospital parking lot because they have this little pond there. Nobody's there. It's like it's like the prop care section of of the hospital. Inlo here in Butte County is like super spread out, and they're all over Chico in like weird areas. So we were we were near the uh, prop care section, and they have a duck pond there. And it's like 8.30, 9 o'clock. Uh, and we're sitting there eating McDonald's, watching the birds swim in the, the little pond and just talk. It was really needed for both of us in a lot of ways. And it, for me, it just made me feel so much better. Um, and we were out until about 9.30 and then went home and watched a movie before bed. And I feel like that little bit of extra getting out of the house and, and doing something small really made the difference. So. I'm gonna start trying to do more little things like that or trying to cook at home and make it more like a date night. Um, we did do little things when she first came, like the, uh, we did our own whale festival because when she first came to town, we were supposed to go to the whale festival in Mendocino County, but they, um, they canceled everything with, with, the vi with the virus. So we made clam chowder and I picked up random beer and we did beer tasting and pretended to be tourists. We drew wells and put them up and did sightseeing all in my little front yard. Uh, so little things are possible. It's just making sure that I get them done and start trying to like see how we can work better together um since I've been dating Esmeralda things have really taught me a lot of good lessons in growing up and how to better communicate because I really haven't had a roommate or it, I've never really been in a super serious relationship where they're living with me um 
I know that this is temporary because when the virus ends, she'll go back to San Jose. But for right now, this is a huge commitment step for me. So I'm extremely proud of myself for that and seeing where things go. Um, it's interesting. I mean, I like it. We're learning how to live with each other and it's no longer my space, but our space. And it is still a small space, even even for two people. Um, but at the same time, we're really making it work for the most part. She does dishes when I cook, and I'm primarily doing the laundry right now because I just it doesn't bother her like it bothers me. So I just try to like keep things clean in that aspect. Um, and we're splitting grocery bills, and I, I think we're doing really well all in all on an aspect of what couples do when they start moving in together um, I'm not sure if I see this as a forever thing I don't know if our relationship will continue I have a feeling it will for a while um, and I'm not gonna like try to do anything to not but I'm starting to notice that we're not super compatible uh, and not every couple is is completely compatible but they do have certain things in common and we do have certain things here and there and we're working towards that and seeing and seeing where it goes uh, but like anything you take it one day at a time and, and see see how well it ends up right so taking it one day at a time and I do enjoy her company so we'll see where this goes uh, enough about that uh, so as you know, because of Friday, I've lost quite a bit of weight. Um, when I started losing weight, my mom and I started biting heads really, really hard because um, she thought that I was anorexic. And I can understand coming from her point of view because she watched one of my, my dear friends growing up do it. And my that friend got super, super sick. So I can understand that when I started losing weight pretty quickly, um, why she got concerned but I'm not anorexic and I haven't lost any more weight things have kind of they, they always balance out in the long run I'm really the same weight that I was in high school it's just that I have um, gone from building a lot of muscle to being a lot leaner so that's been an interesting thing um, her and I started butt heads when she didn't respect that I was eating and I wasn't going to eat more if I wasn't hungry um, and she just worries she means well but she worries and this is our first step in communication on me living three hours away so while I do appreciate all that she's about I can tell that we have been um, learning how to live apart and I'm learning how to grow up in so many ways that that she didn't expect and she wants to feel needed I completely understand it um, and I and I love her for that because she's been a big part of my life for so long uh, it's just part of growing up right and learning how to do your own thing um, so with that work's been decent I've learned a lot of good lessons here and I've grown up a lot I've learned that documentation is extremely important when um, people aren't doing what they probably should be doing. I've also learned that I do not like grants and do not like writing grants. I don't mind working on them. I don't want to be the um, the reporter or the grant writer or going and finding them. While I think those are really extremely important jobs, it is not my favorite thing to do. At one point in time, I was looking into um, being a grant writer here in Chico, but that changed recently. So I'm learning to find what I enjoy and what I can offer to the world as a point of services. Um, where it'll take me, I'm not sure yet. We will just have to wait. Um, I have been enjoying growing a little garden out front for the neighbors been pulling a lot of weeds lately it reminds me of my childhood in so many ways but I really enjoy growing things um, I did take a stab at growing some mushrooms but they don't seem to be doing very well I don't know if it's the wrong season or what um, 
but I think they're very important to help the environment and help decompose a lot of the the organic matter that we have or that I have where I'm at so we will have to wait and see how that happens and here's to seeing where life takes you happy Monday stay safe don't smoke and drive and stay stay sane right all right happy Monday